Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, I'm I'm still trying to decide. I'm this is a if you're what you're if you're watching this video, this was this was not recorded live. This is offline. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do these, the intros and stuff <clears throat> when I do them offline, kind of a let's play kind of thing rather than live streaming. Um, so for now, I'm just going to use the standard streaming startup, even though this is not live. So, so anyway, got a couple more hours or so, I think, of Assassin's Creed Odyssey we want to do tonight. Um, specifically two things, and then we'll see where we are after that and we can go from there. Um, I'm doing a quest line. It's not in the main story. This is one of the side, side stuff with, uh, Exenia is her name. <laughs> Very large, um, big burly... Um, pirate on one of the islands on the eastern side of the map and she's had us do a bunch of quests and we're right now we're doing we need to fetch some specific items for her I don't know where we are within that list um, we've we've gotten four items from three quests and now we have to rescue one of her people and we're, we're outside the fort where the person is being held right now. Um, their ship was sank and they escaped, and so they were captured and in prison, so we've got to rescue them. And then once we finish that quest line, I'm not sure if that's going to be the end of it or not. Um, I also, I am two spots away from being number one on the mercenary list. I'm currently number three, so I've got to take down two people, including number one to reach the top of the mercenary list so we're gonna try to do that as well like that maybe a couple of hours i don't know we'll see oh nice i'd heard that this might be coming this is the first i've seen of this lost tales of greece they did add two two new achievements all right you must choose between performing real history or changing the script Go to your quest board and add these lost tales to your journey. All right, they did have the first epic ship. I think it was this past weekend, I think, when that came out. I've already done that <laughs> quite by accident. Actually, I thought it was a cultist ship. So anyway, we're playing on normal. I have reached the level cap. I am slowly, slowly, slowly but surely getting my gear all up to level 50. Um, and let's see what else. Almost have all of my upgrades for the Adrestia at Legendary. I think there's one for the hull, I think. And one for... Uh, we can check it real quick. Yeah, see, like we're right outside. Got to be careful not to get spotted. Right outside the fort here. Yeah, so let's take a look at the ship real quick. All I need is wood. I have everything else. So I need the last hull upgrade, which cost me 695 wood. I only have 489, so I've got to get another roughly 200 for that. And then another 695 for the fully upgraded RAM capability. I'm not going to be doing that on, on this, so I'll do that offline. So I'm also still looking for two more, probably mercenaries that I can hire uh, that are legendary, because I want to have them, because I've got, there's some cultists that are on ships, and there are a couple of them out there right now that I don't have yet. One of them has been sitting out there taunting me for most of the game. I've done it about seven or eight times now and I haven't been able to do it. The problem is, with that one specifically, is it's not just him. He has another ship with him that is essentially the same size as his ship, but he's also got two smaller ships with him. And man, oh man, do those little guys like to ram the shit out of you. Holy crap. All right, we don't know where he is yet, even though I've used Icarus to 
look for look for this person. of going across with him there. Maybe we'll drop down and go across this way. <laughs> Since we have to carry this person out, likely going to have to clear it because like I said I, like I said before I don't know where the person is yet so I have to get inside I'm waiting to see if anybody's going to come up because as soon as he turns around to go back the other way I'm going to stab him so he could go around the front but he'd probably see me Still nobody coming. We're in the clear. She just needs to turn around. There's got to be some kind of creature just walking around out there. All right, we might just... He's over here by himself, so even if he sees me... Oh, we've got this guy over here, too. Swimmingly, and this guy's oblivious. He's going to go light the brazier and then he's going to all hell's going to break loose. Although, you know, he could be a nice little idiot and try to go up the ladder. So that's good. I don't even mess with the bounties anymore. Generally, once the bounty pulls up on my... I mean, I've got plenty of money. Even though I've had much more than this, upgrades and stuff ate into some of that. I usually just pay it off. I feel like messing with it. Alright. Alright, so we're clear for now. Who's next?
there was a way you could, I could swear that in some of the previous games you could toss guys over ledges and stuff. Hero strike ready for him. Booby trap, the brazier. Oh, wow. Six elites. Oh, that's just lovely. Where are they going? Alright, they're going away. What do we got over here? <laughs> I'd love doing that. Just trying to get them to change. Change their patrol pattern. now. Hmm. 
the bounty hunter. That didn't take long. Guys, can we fit on one roof? Oh, there's the bounty hunter. What are you trying to prove? Oh, hello. Oh, no, I hit the button. Wow, that hasn't happened very often. Now, the question is, how much of that am I going to have to redo? All of it. Yep. Oh well. Alright, let's try something different this time. Let's go back to the front. Let's see. over here oh there it is over there shit wow this place is huge So we missed. Doesn't look like it. up. Alright, let's get it cleared. I don't need 40 guys coming after me.
this wasn't a good idea. It's supposed to be a typically a shortcut. A hidden passage. Of course it's so damn dark. Check and see if there's any. Lantern, so I can see where the hell I'm going. Alright, there's an exit. Get the torch out. Alright, there's another. Is this inside? the pole march. Well, he doesn't appear to be. No, he's just an epic. He's not a legendary. Right down there on top of him. Boy, that was some shitty luck. They will probably see me if I try to take the rope across. Enforcements, but they can get a bounty on me. Spaced. Is he going to come up? If he comes 
comes up, I might be able to get him from above. There's the ladder there. wouldn't be so bad if I didn't have to carry the guy out. I don't know where he is. Gonna be able to do this without having a big ass fight. You got all these elites in here, you can't just walk up behind them. And and tap the assassination button. Of course, if I had the. Shit, there was one of my weapons. Something had an extra 40% damage. Attacking from behind. Athenians, Spartans, overpower, maybe some of the cooldown stuff. Damage with rain, elites and bosses, that's not bad. That's what I'm carrying. ship. Probably did. I know you, you can carry like 350 something items.
but I still don't like to carry that much stuff around. Let's see if we can get this guy to come this way. So we got to be able to build our adrenaline back up. march may not have to worry about the pole march actually depending on where the prisoner is there's someone there so he should be fairly easy to take. Let's save that gaggle. <laughs> oh, really? Is that it? No way. So wait a minute. That was what I <laughs> that was what I came here for, and I just happened to stumble upon him because I was looking for the prisoner. All right, let's check this. Here's the. Okay. After one of her crews was attacked and its cargo lost, Xenia implored, implored Cassandra to recover her precious coffer and, if possible, rescue her imprisoned crew. Not in a late. Well, report. They're not here. We'll find them. Keep looking. I got it. Got what? What do you see? 
I don't know if you get a f if you get a free pass if you're on a rope like this. As far as being seen, trapped. See, the pole march is over there by himself. I don't know why he would do that. He's got all those damn bodyguards. Oh, now they come running. Not what I wanted to do. Thought I would be seen for sure. Yeah, see, I don't have any idea where this prisoner is. Wonder. Hmm. It might be a situation where he is now gone off the map since I did the. I found the coffer. And he disappeared. Huh? I heard something. Did fine, sir. I must have misheard.
dudes over here. I need to find who's doing that. That would be me, sir. Oh, oh, oh. Far back. At least a segment. This guy got his back turned to me or not? Still need wood for those upgrades that I mentioned at the beginning. Alright, we still have no idea where the prisoner is. But he's got to be in here somewhere because, I mean, I've got Icarus's uh, perception maxed. If he's anywhere near here, I should be able to see him, but I don't. It would, he couldn't see him even before I found the coffer, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Is this him right here? Ah, there he is right there. Alright, now we have to figure out how the hell we're going to get out of here. One guy over there. All right, we're gonna try this. Don't know how well it's gonna work. We'll take the long way around. I would try and take that secret passageway over there, but this guy's not gonna be able to Traverse some of it, plus it's dark as hell. I'll be right back, buddy. I'll take care of this goon. Oh, he left. <laughs> Was that him? The prisoner. I don't know what to do at this point. I should probably just go. I 
look around. Oh, I didn't want to get on the damn horse. Always grab the weapons off the weapon racks. <clears throat> either for cash or resources. I have no idea. Well, we're going to go ahead and make a quick save here. We're going to fast travel over to where Xenia is. Hundred and three hours. All right, back over here to the island. Good thing about her stuff is she is literally right underneath the fast travel spot. Just drop down and she's standing there on a maybe a guard tower or something right there at the ledge. Usually she's leaning over the side of it looking out over. <clears throat> yeah, right there. She is a romanceable option. <laughs> so she's a big girl. Rescued my crew. <laughs> I know you will find it ridiculous, but this clay doll was a gift from my mother. A strong figure she was, tough as Ira, and clever as Athena. She cared for us after my wretch of a father got himself lost. We're dead. I didn't expect that. No one is only one thing, my West Wind. True. Enough chatter. I have another use for your tongue and your hands. Oh, we're your not done. Are needed. <laughs> yes. I'll go down with you. Perfect. Let me oh, show okay. you my private collection. <laughs> God, she would break Cassandra. <laughs> Man. Xenia's quest line is done. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. Mission over here. I'm not going to do it. I just want to get it in the books. When you first come to this island, everybody is hostile to you. Everybody. And who are you, sir? What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. What kind of message do you want to send? Sinking some ships while flying her colors should do the trick. That's one way to do it. We're still pirates. To adjust We've settings. a reputation to uphold in these waters. And nothing says, respect me, like a bit of blood spilling. Sounds to me like you're weakening the competition. <coughs> Chaos not big enough for your ambitions? If we're going to take more territory, we wouldn't be hiring the likes of you. We do it ourselves. Best way to prevent an attack is to strike first. No arguments here. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, 
a few from Athens, and a few oh, bandit ones geez, too. That's really? a lot of ships in Yeah, it is. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair. Three broken oars on the top nice. level. Nice. Two on the second Recruitment level. Recruitment drive. Oh, oh that ought to be fun. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We're going to stream. We are going to stream tomorrow. Okay, let's see. We still don't have enough for that. Getting close. Getting close for one of them. Uh, let's see. That one doesn't require skins, so we'll probably do the hull first. We have enough of the other pieces. And the cash. To buy those, it won't leave much for upgrading the rest of my weapons. Although, like I said before... I mean, I'm at the level cap, so I can't go higher than 50, so the chasing of level 50 for all of my gear will stop. Um, I just have to get the rest of the pieces up to level 50, and this guy is... This guy... Oh, man, that's going to be expensive. Seven levels on a legendary weapon? Wow. I mean, these other two... These two pieces won't be so bad. The 47 won't be too bad either, although it, it'll be... A little painful too. All right, break down anything that's black or blue. May oh, what is this? But there is no way, unless it's two hundred percent damage per hit, <laughs> that I would ever take a blue or a black at this point. Alright, so we don't need to do that yet. Let's see, Black Wind. I forget where we got some of these from. The Minotaur, we got that for beating the Minotaur. That's part of the problem with a game this big. You put so many damn hours into it. I forget where you got some. Oh, the Hades bow. I mentioned that the other day. We got that off of one of the one of the mercenaries. I don't remember which one, but it's off a of mercenary. This one, Poseidon's tried it. You can get that off of an island that's it's just in a chest. There's nothing else on the island except for a handful of high-level lions. But you got to defeat those guys first. And that... That island is right there. There's one of the... That's a picture that I took <laughs> when we got there. So, yeah, that's where you get that from. Actually, I need to adjust. One of the things that this game does, that I, not every game handles this correctly, but... Assassin's Creed Odyssey apparently stores your settings in the cloud with your game data saves. Because I have an... A, uh, Xbox One X downstairs uh, as well as the one I'm playing on right now but the one downstairs I have a HDR TV down there and I, I can adjust the, the, the brightness down downstairs um, to make it look really nice but when I come up here it keeps that same setting and it makes it up here really dark which is why I had to drop it down and then when I go back downstairs after finishing this I'll have to turn the brightness back down for the other TV, so that's kind of kind of silly. All right, mercenaries. We've got two left. We are number three on the list. Oh, this guy has moved over to the arena. He was not in the arena last night. And we got to take out that guy. All right, so what does he do? He is the fire guy. Let's see, Kybeli, I guess. Kybeel. The smoldering was known for the hammer she kept. Oh my god, that's a she. 
bigger than me. People said it was ever burning, that its flame was fed by her victims, or that she pulled it bare knuckled from the heart of a volcano. Maybe I'll start carrying that thing around with me. Many scoffed. She turned and it's already level 52, so we won't have to upgrade it. Oh, she turned them into believers, one burning strike at a time. All right, so what does that have? 15% warrior, 20% fire. Weapon damage becomes fire damage, so yeah. Is that going to take me straight to the arena? I wonder. Hopefully it will put me at the door, if it does, rather than straight to it. It'll give me a chance to top off my arrows and stuff. Well, <laughs> well here we go. The good thing about it is it's just him. Saver kicked in again, and I hate it when that happens. See, essentially what happens is anybody that you beat above you, you move up a slot and they move to the slot directly behind you. So he'll be in the number three slot and then I'll be in the number two slot. So now all we've got left is <laughs> this guy and I have no idea where he is. <laughs> and I love the way they, they turn around in shame. <laughs> oh my God, she beat me. Of course, he, like, ran into the damn, um, the spinning spikes and caught himself on fire at least twice. Is this guy Exchius? I don't know how Exchius, the legend. In our time, one Mythios was feared above all, forever present, forever undefeated. Age would not dull his edge nor rust his hammer's head. Behind Ezekius, the legend was a trail of desolation and the eerie silence of death. He's got a bear. Got a bear to deal with, too. All right, what's this give us? 15% uh, assassin's damage, 15% damage with heavy blunt weapons, which is what that is. 20% damage with charged 
heavy attack ability. I do have that. I think. Yeah. Just one point, though. And why does he have a mark above his head? Did he move into the arena too? No? Alright, let's track him. Yeah, I was talking the other day about a couple of the cultists are on the sea. This is one of them. I have not tried to take that guy on yet before, but this guy up here is the one that's the pain in the ass. This guy, Asterion. All right. Now, as far as the... Mercenaries go, you can basically deal with them the same way that you could in Origins if you want to. And that is staying on horseback. And just keep riding around and kiting on him and, and hitting him every now you know as you go by and it's a really nice uh, place to use a spear too because the extra reach allows you to reach him but he can't reach you so as long as you keep the right distance you could pretty much not take any damage at all so so we'll try that. That's not the right button. And it's, and it's obviously a better place as well to attack them when they're out on the road like he appears to be. That way he's out by himself. You don't have to worry about anybody else joining in, although it does happen. Usually what I've tried to do is I'll take care of the animal friend first. Get that out of the way. Yeah, there's the friend right there, so we can... Fighting a damn boar. Nice. Oh, nice. The, the, the boar whittled him down some. I'll take that. I probably should have left the wolf alone. Let him whittle him down a little bit at least. Now. All right, we'll just sit here and wait. We'll wait until one of them is dead. Yeah. We can get an idea of. All Let's right. go.
Nope. It ain't gonna be me, buddy. See ya. Let's go. Oh, he's a cultist too. Perfect. Stabby stab. I'll leave all of you out. Alright, I think he's the legend. Is this the same description that we had before? He fought under no one's banner, and so was able to go where no soldier or hero could. This afforded the cult great flexibility, where there was struggle against their will. Ex Exequius would appear as if by coincidence. He drank and celebrated and sang songs with those who opposed Cosmos's will. And then, when the celebration settled, those people were never seen again. Alright, number one. Now, what you, what, what I could have done if I wanted to, probably should have at least tried it, was try to recruit him for my ship. And if you, just in case you're not aware of how you do that, is the uh, the last blow, the killing blow, so to speak. If you use a Spartan kick for that. Um, you can you have the option when you walk up to them to recruit them. All right, so now we have four, four clues, half of the clues. The ghost longs for freedom. The ghost is planning to herald in a new era. The ghost uses faith in the gods to manipulate all. The ghost controls Athenian politics. Can't really tell. Oh, she's turned around. If um, if it's male or female, what do we got for Phobo? Ooh, nice <laughs> Braxis, legendary Phobo skin. This fiery steed comes straight from the underworld. <laughs> Do I have to get off? <laughs> Fear me, for I am fire. <laughs> nice. Oh, let's see, I don't know. I want my regular Phobos back. Can it gross? <laughs> no, I don't do that. All right, so Ella. let's let's see. What do we got here? Everything we could do. Uh, let's see. There was what was his name? Akibiades, I think, was his name was one of the people that we ran into in the story earlier. There he is. Got some more quests. So we'll, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and do these. I don't know how many there are. Um, <coughs> and then when we're finished with that, we'll go ahead and shut her down. Wow, all right, got both of those done. Kind of surprised on the first part where we didn't have to find the... Of course, we didn't see him anyway. The uh, the prisoner at the camp.
I'll keep you out. He's a, to say he's a very interesting dude. <laughs> Oh, he's actually got clothes on this time. Last time we saw him, he didn't have much on. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. <laughs> we I banged her here. What are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship <laughs> in every port. <laughs> I'm sure you have. If he is very openly you, sexual. <laughs> I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its <laughs> size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. Huge impact. You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, that's all. The Odoros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this Theodoros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes things just are. <laughs> What's your favorite port? <laughs> you, you, my dear. A lot. What's your favorite place to go? Oh, a personal question. Interesting. The world is filled with beautiful places. To pick my favorite would be like picking my favorite Etera. I could do it, but the answer changes. I based guess that's on my uh, Lady of the Evening, I suppose. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas <clears throat> near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger assets. And I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odoros. Look at all of that. Well, at least my target is visible, unlike the first. All right, there's a quest giver there. Brazier as well. See if we can get him to move. Somehow I don't think he will. Try to get him to change his patrol pattern.
<laughs> How many elites can we fit in a Volkswagen? <laughs> oh my god. How many guys are there? Look at that. Oh, they're protecting a pole march. That's what it is. Oh. Oh, he's a he's a legendary. There's some way I could recruit him. Bye bye. here all things considered Let's see if we can get one of these weaker guys to come over here get an easy assassination out of it get that adrenaline point back is still down there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Maybe we should go down there and grab his stuff. Oh. Should we try it? Come on, Cassandra, get up there. Not gonna like that brazier. I could try something, but boy, that would be a mess, though. All right, guys, keep going. Artemistios I sent for. What do you want? 
This is for you. Give it here. Is this some kind of joke? This is a cast of someone's dick. <laughs> What's this engraving? <laughs> this is for your wife, Delia. <laughs> for when she starts to miss me. <laughs> Tell me now, who said this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you know a man named Theodorus? Theodorus? He'll pay for this with his life. I'll destroy his men. I'll destroy his <laughs> kill regret. Oh Never my god. Celia. Alcibiades just went up even farther. <laughs> my favorite people in the game. Because <laughs> we're probably going to have to make a run for it now. That's all right. Oh, I'm surprised. We should we should let the bear out. <laughs> we have some fun. Out the damn pole march. You can't have a little bit of fun here, too. Got the overcharged bow attack. You're supposed to be able to use special arrows with it, too. Yeah, that guy's <laughs> still down here that we kicked off. Oh yeah, <laughs> there he is. What's he got on him? That's oh, all right. All right, let's replenish our arrows. Rather than fast traveling, we'll just walk. We 
to give me a chance to get some more wood. Can we get another upgrade? Should have enough for one of them. Alright, get that. And we just have the ram left. One segment on the ram, so we need about... 635 grind the grind is real wait a minute what is he doing up there he can't still be at the, at the fort or he was never at the fort he was down in the town <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> he is awesome. <laughs> I was just starting to miss you. I hope you delivered the uh, package. Vardas threatened to kill the others when I told him. I also wasn't expecting the package to be <laughs> well, that. It was a nice surprise, wasn't it? I can make another one for you, too, if you'd like. Another one? You... It was mine, yes. <laughs> it looked good, didn't it? I needed to get the Odoros out of the way, and now he will be. I impress myself sometimes. <laughs> Whatever you say. Why don't we let our bodies do the talking? Surely you had thoughts of it as well when you saw the cast of me. Here? Before the gods? Sure! Let's make an offering. <laughs> I'd Let's like to do see it. the gods stop us. I have a feeling they prefer to watch. <laughs> He's awesome. <clears throat> I'd say we gave the gods a good show. <sighs> I couldn't agree more. I'd love an encore soon. <laughs> All right, is that it? Is he still nearby? That must have been it for him. That is probably going to be it for the day. I don't know that I have... There aren't that many. Oh, I guess there's some down here. We have... I'm in chapter 7 in the story. So... About... According to... I don't know where I saw it. Seven, maybe it was in the rewards app. 70% through the main story. So, we may do some of that. Um, either tomorrow night. I am streaming tomorrow night. Looking at 6 to 10. And we're going to do a little bit of it on Saturday as well during the... Excuse me, during the uh, extra live game day stream that I'm doing from 8 to 4 uh, Eastern Time. So, so yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and shut it down. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Comments are always welcome. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to do a... I'm taking a break from streaming couple of weeks and probably a couple of weeks more but i'm gonna to stream tomorrow night just because i haven't done it in a couple of weeks knock off a little bit of the rust to be doing some more of this and then on saturday like i said eight to four eastern for extra life so i will see you guys later thanks for coming